Hello, and welcome to Party Paper Tears. Today, I'll be doing a walkthrough on my 2024 Christmas folio. This folio is a remake of a folio that I made five years ago. And yes, mistakes were made. But I did make some modifications in this new folio, and I even kept one of the mistakes. I'll also be showing you my most favorite way to put photos in this folio. So if you want to see me do that, then stay tuned. This folio measures six by nine. On the cover, I did double mat. I used a 4x6 cut apart and backed it onto some red glitter cardstock. These elements here are die cuts and the poinsettias are stickers that were originally white and I did color them with my brush markers. This spine is a fourth of an inch. This spine is a seven eighth of an inch. And on the back, um, this is my old deer folio. And I did print that onto some uh, printable transparency. And I'll link that product in the description area. On the interior cover, we have a pocket. And in the pocket, we have a little three by four fo folder for you to place your um, pictures or maybe some or maybe even journal there flips open like this I have two picture mats in here one is a four by six the other one is eight by four and it's just two cut aparts but I did add a design element down here just to create a little extra interest and it still holds a four by four or maybe a three by four so that's really cute I love that look but this pocket is generous I did create a gusset for it and um, you're able to stuff many photo mats in there and use this as your closure the ribbon is just regular satin ribbon. On the next page, I have a, what I'm calling scattered pictures. And it is a stamp and die uh, designed by Diamond Press. And these little Polaroids are just scattered about. Each one of them, you can place a one by one photo And it gives you uh, several pictures on this page. For instance, with all you see here, that's 10. And then there's also a little wheel here that you can rotate. And it gives you five pictures in there, but counting those, we're gonna say this one page houses 14 pictures. And I just used a few of the sticker elements to embellish. Um, now I know this page looks a little busy and it looks a little muted, but I did try this in some more contrasting colors and it was just too much for the way I wanted my folio to look. So I will try this design element again, but I'll probably put it in a birthday folio or maybe even a baby album or a baby folio. I can really see contrasting bright colors making this pop and a lot more fun. But it is fun for me here and everything is kind of miniature now. <laughs> so <laughs> why not make photos miniature? As we open up the folio here, we have a center panel with a closure. And I'll just place a photo there to give you a visual. I think that's really cute and this is one of the reasons why I named my folio Old Deer because this um, paper collection I had a lot of deer and a rustic vibe to it 
something that kind of remind me of my dad and I just really wanted to um, pull that element out. But this is Paper Collection is by Cartabella. It's called Christmas and um, you get 12 by 12 double sided and a sticker sheet, which is normally what I use for uh, my folios, especially folios of this size. It opens this way. This is a magnetic closure. And as you see, I matted it. And you can put um, pictures or you can journal here. And you can still place a photo. And you can even place a larger photo. And you can still get a good closure with the magnet. I did use basic gray magnets, so they're pretty um, strong. Flipping it over this way. I was going to show you a new way that I like to place photos into my photo album. And that's by creating a collage. And the way I do this is I use the apps for my printer, which is a Canon. And you're able to um, use all kind of cut aparts and uh, situate your pictures or they have some pre-made um, collages that you can use to make fun photos like this. So you have one, two, this is actually a place for a photo, three, four, five, six, and that can even be seven, eight. So you have eight elements on here that can all be photos that you can place right here. I did back it on to some um, red glitter cardstock. And that can be just one event. Like for instance, that's just a few pictures from Christmas Eve a couple of Christmases ago. And that's a picture from Christmas Day. So basically one event and um, and it's done. So that's a one and done if you choose to mat this way. So during the Christmas seasons, we have a lot of little events that we go to. And I'm thinking this is not a huge folio. And I do want to get as many pictures as I can in it. So that's the way I'm going to mat in this folio. I love the papers in this collection. It's so cute. <laughs> this center panel here, <laughs> it just bagged me for this. Um, I had a, on the sticker sheet, there was a sticker that said the stockings hung, were hung by the chimney with care. And immediately I got this visual. And I did have um, another stamp and die set that was, um, that I could use to make these stockings. So I used that. I did magnetize these and this one is a shaker and I think it came out really cute and on the back of it I just matted some white cardstock uh, for journaling or however you want to use it but on this one I decided to use a photo and I think it came out really cute and they just snap right back in place but if you want to move it it does flip up and I made this brick pattern with a um, a folder, an embossing folder that I have in my stock. But you can place your photos here. And I think that's really cute. I was going to do a pop-up, but in this folio, I didn't leave much gusset room in this folding area in the center panel so I didn't feel like that was a good idea. I did get a little dimension with the shaker element and so, uh, just a little bit right here but these are just uh, die cut pieces from the using paper in the uh, papers from the collection to create that little greenery across there but it's really cute. On this panel, this was the mistake that I made in the previous folio. And 
I don't really know how I end up making that mistake, but folios really wasn't my thing. And I just kind of jumped in because I thought it was the perfect go between uh, the huge albums that um, you have with the acetate and everything or in the meeting albums that I was making. So this folio was a great idea. And how I end up making this page and or keeping this mistake as I thought, uh, my granddaughter was going through the previous, I'll just show you. She was flipping through this photo, this folio, and she just happened to pick these two pages up. So when she opened them up, they just kind of flopped like that. And she was like, that is so satisfying. <laughs> and I was looking at her reaction because I'm thinking, I messed this up, you know, but it made me happy that she was happy. And I was just like, okay, this is just that a happy mistake and once photos are placed on this it will loosen up just a bit and it'll be a flopper as well and hopefully satisfying to whomever is looking at it what I like about it most is that nothing overlaps and obstruct any other page and you can enjoy the photos uh, a lot easier but this mistake was made out of one piece of cardstock and in this particular folio which is nine inches tall I made it eight and a half uh, by ten inches scored it down the middle created a gusset glued one half of it on this side of the panel and closed it up and glued in the half of it on this side of the gusset. Uh oh, I'm losing my stuff. And it creates the flop page. If that's something you want to try or perfect, I think it's cute. And like I said, it was, it is visually satisfying. So um, I, I'm gonna keep it and maybe even reuse it again. The only thing I think I would change is I would make my page the same length or height as the folio. This is something I would do in a mini album, but again, like I said, I repeated it because I thought it was a happy mistake. On this third panel, we have a belly band. And yes, I did gusset it so that we can get several goodies in here. And the first goodie that we have is a picture folder. And it's just simply <laughs> four by four cut aparts. Score down the middle. And yes, you can put your um, photos in here quite easily. I plan on putting at least four, maybe two to four. I may even journal in one of, one of these, especially if I use it for an event. The next goodie in here is an oversized picture mat. Oh, let me show you this feature. This is printable acetate or transparency film. Again, I'm going to link it, the product and where I got it from in the description. But I just simply printed on this uh, Deer Element, Deer Design on this acetate. And isn't that pretty? That is so cute. And when you remove it, it's still cute. <laughs> but I made this oversized photo mat knowing that I print my pictures out mostly in collages now. So I created um, a pocket on the back to hold that. And you can place it there permanently or maybe put two or three other pictures there. And on this side, this is a tuck. And that card of Bella um, scrapbook paper is quite sturdy. So I thought it would be good to make a good tuck with it. So I used one of my die cuts in my stash and cut this design element out. But I noticed how cute this was 
to mat one of these on here. And I really wanted to show you the other one because once you slide it into the belly band, I just thought it was so cute when I saw it. And what I would do is put this on here, put some type of design element down here, maybe even journal there, and slide it right in. Mm -mm. And that is so cute. That little peekaboo through the transparency fan. And the deer being there is not really even obstructing it. Just kind of fits right in with the photo. And I got two little reindeer right there. But I just think that's really cute. And I just may leave that there. But I hope that you were able to get some inspiration from my 2024 Christmas folio. If you have any questions about any of the products or um, any of the designs in this folio, please leave me a comment. I really appreciate your time. Thank you for joining me. And don't forget to subscribe and like my video. And if you like this content, check out some of my other videos. Thank you. Bye-bye.